Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. So what we're going to do in this one is, because the next one of our models that we need to update is obviously our plan one. But before I can do this, I need to actually install Kesha for Stripe. Okay, so we go through the whole installation. And then now we're gonna set up our Stripe account in order to separate, set up our products so that we can actually write our plans, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is install uh, Laravel Kesha. So what we can do is open our terminal, okay, this one right here. So our terminal is open, so let's go to the documentation and follow the whole process to actually install Laravel Kesha for us. Okay, so let's go to the browser. Right, so I'm on laravel.com, so I'll be go to the documentation. Now go under packages, okay, so you'll see we've got a prologue and all that kind of stuff. Just go to the bottom under packages. And you will see we've got Breeze, Kesha, Stripe, Kesha, Paddle, Dusk, Envoy, Spotify, and all that kind of stuff in here. So we're just going to go to Kesha Stripe. So click on that. Now in Kesha Stripe, we go down to installation, or we can just click uh, installation. Let's just go there. All right. So just click it. It will actually take you to that header. And then we're just going to take Composer install. So copy it. Right, and here that we just paste it in. So Composer require Laravel Kesha and then press enter. All right, so I'm going to go through the whole setup process. Okay, so as you can see, we're using version 13.5. You saw yours might be a little bit of a different version than mine, but it shouldn't be breaking changes. All right, now that's all done. So what we're going to do now is um, with default, we don't have to tag the migrations to actually update or change the migrations, but I'm going to do it anyway for anybody that might to want to edit and add some custom files in there. All right, so if we go to the documentation, you can see we can just do the migrations, okay? But if you need to override the migrations that ship with Kesha, you may want to publish them, all right? In this case, I'm gonna publish them, so if you want to override some of the features, we're going to do that as well, right? So we might not want to do it, okay? But I'm going to do it. So in this case, I'm not going to override anything. But as you can see, we published the vendor file. So if we go to database, migrations, you will see we got our new migrations in here. You can see we got our, um, we got our subscriptions, subscription items, and we got our customer right here. Okay, so for our users, got basically what will happen now is it will update the column inside our users table, right? So our users column inside our database, so this one right here. So as you can see, we got these fields right now. So if we migrate the database, it will actually add this part right here. It will add the Stripe ID, PM ID, PM last full, and the trial end set. It will add these four columns to our users table. And then we have our subscriptions, and then we have our subscription items. Okay, so these three tables will basically, two tables and one column will be added in our database. All right, so now we've got that set up. All right, so the next thing that we're going to do is, let's say you've got a customer model. So in this case, let's say we, we need to use billable with the user. All right, let's Laravel Cashier by default will look inside the user model basically for the billable, all right? Now, the thing is, if you're not using the customer model as the user class, if you, let's say you had a model called customer, then you just specify it here, and we're gonna use the billable in that customer model, okay? But in this case, we're using users, so I'm just gonna add this use billable in our user model, so let's do that. Right, in order to use it, we go to App, Models, and we're gonna look for our user model right here. Let's go to the top, and then we just gonna bring it right in that trend. Yeah, use billable. Billable, like this. And then we just make sure we import it. Now, as you can see, it will use Laravel Cashier billable right there. Okay, so all good stuff. 
right? So we've done this part. The next part that we need to do is we need to set up our Stripe keys. So in order to do that, we need to create a Stripe account, okay? And we're going to do some configurations, All right? So let's go over to Stripe. So you will get to this dashboard right here. Now, the thing is, what you can do is you can just obviously sign up. Now, I already created an account. Okay, so once you finish signed up, uh, okay, let me just, just sign in. Right, so then you will get to a dashboard like this, right, once you signed up. Now, the thing is, what you want to do, you want to go to the developers right here. Okay, so you click on this part right here. Now, you will get here. Okay, so this will basically show you the overview of your integrations or all the kind of stuff that you've made. But what you want to do is you can either go here or you can go to the API keys on your left hand side and you will see you will have a publishable key, this one, and you will have a secret key. Okay, so I'm just going to reveal both. Okay, so let me just, right, just wanted to know my password before I can actually reveal it right so we got our publishable key so you can just click on this one so now just copy that or you can just just if you click on it it will basically copy the key right so let's go back to laravel in visual studio code so let's just close the user and we go to an environment file right here okay so in underneath here we're going to just basically copy our stripe key in our stripe publishable key you know what will be easier? Let's just copy this whole thing like this. Instead of having to type it out, we just paste it like this. And now we're just going to copy our publishable key in our secret right there. Right, so let's just copy this again. Right, so then you come and we paste it in here. So let's go and get our secret key and paste it in here as well. Right, so here we just click on it and then copies it. And then we just paste this one in as well. All right now we got our stripe key and we got our stripe secret key in here okay so let's just save this okay right so the next thing on your list is if you want to change the currency the default currency will basically be the us dollars if you want to change your currency you just take this okay so cash your currency and paste it in here and change it to whatever currency you use all right now the problem with this is let me just delete this because we're going to use the us dollar now the problem with this is i just want to show you the available countries uh, where stripe is available so that you can see if your country falls in that list if it doesn't fall in that list a stripe will not be supported in that country okay so okay let me just show you All right and if you go to stripe forward slash global okay the countries that stripe is available basically you'll see all the blue marks right here where stripe is available and stripe is basically available for business in 46 countries here's the whole list i will leave the list in the description so if you basically want to check if your country falls in here as well okay so as you can see my country doesn't fall south africa doesn't fall as being part of uh, basically stripe but i'm doing it anyway for learning purposes for you guys so yes okay so as you can see some of these countries are available it's quite a nice extensive list but as you can see if you know anyone in africa you will know nobody's listed here and obviously uh, russia and places like that okay so anyway that's it so we finished up we copied this part and we did our installation right here and obviously if you want to do calculate taxes you can actually in your boot method so you can just read more about those and we're not going to do any of those things so that's basically our setup so what we're going to do in the next one is we're basically just going to set up basically create uh, products so right here so as you can see we don't have any products so the next one what we will do is we will just set up our products so that we can set up our plans and then we're going to migrate our database and then we're going to create a couple of seeders so that we can actually eventually get to a place where we can accept subscriptions all right so that's it for me guys if you like the video please give it a like and i'll see you in the next one adios